guys, it's Basic Sorgatron. I'm with Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. He's talking to your social media, video, or whatever the heck comes to my mind during this at Sorgatron.com. And today, as you can see by the title, if you came in the front door, it's uh, my coping, my coming to grips with vertical video. Now, this has been a thing. Maybe some of you guys uh, uh, saw or attended my podcast session where I uh, kind of broke down a little bit and had a small little tip about vertical video. It drives me insane. Uh, it drives me insane when you're uh, writing, you know, wrestling promos and that obviously a lot of people are, are not going to watch on phones and stuff. Uh, and, and, and those get past my way. And, and it's kind of, uh, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it feels amateur when that happens uh, to me. And but again, I, you know, I want to pre pre play this by pre play pre uh, uh, pre something this uh, by by I am a video professional. I, I've been doing video editing uh, as a job for ten years now, uh, so I'm used to our aspect ratio this way, the way you're seeing me, not whoop, moved on its side and everything. Uh, but when we come to the world of Periscope of 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 snapchat of meerkat we're we're into a different spot now i uh, i know periscope has recently updated and they've flipped things on its side cool but now that feels awkward now that feels awkward to the periscopers i feel i feel like you're doing a disjustice to that audience if that's who you're trying to serve so now now don't get me wrong i i feel like it's an amazing thing if and i actually thought to do this uh earlier this week uh we have a recording that we do a podcast recording for a client every monday and it's three people across the table in the vertical i'm never able to really get the vertical to work and get all three people so it's always been very awkward whenever we're doing that uh, now that's horizontal yes i'm going to turn it horizontal because i can get them and if anything happens to the recording hey i have kind of other video of them that we could maybe use a couple of times i've used uh there's been audio glitches in this recording and maybe I've missed others. I don't know. I'm not on the other end listening <laughs> to that part of it. Uh, but I try to keep an eye out and see if there's any uh, weird looking uh, waves and glitches in there. And uh, I've actually recovered it from the Periscope that I do during the show. Uh, so it's been very helpful for that. And, you know, I'm a big, big believer in redundancy. And uh, when that redundancy didn't happen, as, as you heard about from uh, uh, Tuesday's Basic Sorgonomics this week, I, I, I don't have a backup when something went wrong. Something ridiculous, something goofy went wrong and something was missed and, it's, and the file's gone. And uh, even if it is the Periscope, it's all right. Uh, we actually used Periscope over the weekend. Uh, uh, WWE professional wrestlers uh, Paige and Dean Ambrose were in town for the Wizard World at Pittsburgh Comic Con, they did Q and A's, uh, and uh, our friend Katie and, and myself, uh, we did we did and Bobby did uh, you know did periscopes of the Q and A. It's just a you know as our journalist integrity of the Wrestling Mayhem show, we did that and, and we threw it on YouTube and we you know, I zoomed it in a little bit so it's not fully like because it's this vertical thing and they're right in the middle so it doesn't make any sense and it doesn't look great and it's not steady but the audio is great. Now we do have that audio and we're able to plug that into our podcast feed and i thought it was a great listen uh for anybody that maybe is just on the audio versions that's great it, that's and i've talked about before the idea of you take video and snapchat you bump it out and and you have kind of a workflow of like okay i can take this video and put it over on instagram it's going to square it anyways and that's really nice and i can use that over on uh twitter as well but again i i, I kind of i'm accepting of this idea that this is the way people are viewing now the vertical is the way that people are viewing. And and I think you do need to respect that now. You need to think about your I think you need to think about your audience and your target a lot more than you used to be. If it's something like this, uh, if I'm going on Periscope and I know there's uh, supposedly going to be uh, Apple TV versions of the Periscope app and you're going to see it on your big 42 inch TV and everything. But uh I don't think that's still your audience at this point. Maybe it is eventually, but doing the vertical video, giving more bank per inch for your buck, pixels per inch for your buck or whatever you want to call it. That's a horrible way to say that. Uh, but I, I, I think it fits. Um, 
there was a podcast talking about this and they said, well, you know, actually we shoot that way. And, and there's, uh, uh, ads, uh, uh TVs and, in, 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 I think they were talking about it in the, in the subway or something like that, where they're vertical. And I've seen these too. I've seen these displays at, 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 at department stores in the mall where they will, you know, format things for the vertical display. So stuff is moving that way. Not our general sitting back and watching TV. We're not going to watch Law and Order in a vertical display. Although that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, if if that became a thing eventually. Um, even you know, playing around with a little bit. Uh, I had a really good tip to shoot um, somebody on a green screen um, and turn the camera on its side so I can get their full body. And they're not moving side to side. Now I have this like double resolution, triple resolution uh, video of them that I can move around and everything. Uh, so it's got me thinking vertically in a lot of different ways. But like I said, it, it really kind of depends on what you're doing. Now, uh, something like this, this is really, uh, so I put the periscope up here or maybe I'm just talking to people or something. I'm going to leave it vertical, right? Because uh, again, the people that are interacting with me for the most part, and I see there's some web viewers out there, they're on other other devices. And, and unfortunately, they're not going to be able to interact with me anyways. Um, and I think the vast number is still going to be people in the app and, and that's the actual interacting audience i want to i want to honor them because they're on a device that is going to be vertical uh and uh and, I, and i'm not worried so much about where it's going afterwards and we're kind of accepting and i do believe if i'm not mistaken now I haven't, I haven't tested this but the word i got around was youtube is starting to um, except the vertical videos. So they won't put the giant bars on the side if, say, you're on the phone watching full screen. That's the word I got. Again, I have not tested that, but that kind of changes things a little bit. Because what if you're on a phone and you're, you're, you're looking at periscopes? Okay, that's what it is. And even, you know, and I think there's a little bit of... Um, I think there's a little bit of, uh, you know, we've seen Case Denise that does the, the BMAP. Uh, he's big on making things on Periscope and, the, or I'm sorry, uh, Snapchat and Snapchat stories. And he's been taking his videos and, and putting them on YouTube. And those are labeled like, hey, they're Snapchat stories. Um, uh, and I try to make sure like, hey, this is the Q&A Periscope we did the other day uh, that I thought was really good. So I'll go ahead and bump it over to YouTube and maybe it'll help somebody else. But it's very much, this isn't the content I'm making so much um, the way I want to make the content. But this is another uh, this is another uh, facet of, of what we're doing. And, and that's happened a few times. And I love that ability that we can grab that afterwards. So so I pull up Periscope a lot of times. Um, lately, I've been trying to do it uh, as I'm copying files over here on Tuesday nights after we, we've done like four or five shows. And it takes a little bit to get that over the network on the computer. I need to edit it. And uh, it's a perfect opportunity as I'm packing up all the equipment around me and uh, I'll, I'll pull it up and, and start, you know, talking with people. And uh, typically we're talking about pro wrestling or people are asking about podcasting. And it's been really, really enjoyable. And, uh, and that's actually the one that I, I saved and threw up on YouTube, uh, which all I can do on the phone. You save it through your camera roll. You make sure you have YouTube capture and it makes it super easy. Um, turn off all of the auto uh auto stabilization and stuff because it's probably going to get a little weird at that point uh but other than that and and maybe people will watch it on youtube and find it and maybe they won't you know and maybe i'll have somebody from chile watching this thing like i am right now hello from chile over on the periscopes uh so so that's my case that's my coming to grips i'm dealing with it i'm getting less irrationally angry i just hope if you're uh doing something with the intention of using it in a different format. You're still thinking about moving that thing sideways. Uh, so really that is a, a user choice at this point. Uh, but uh, but again, it kind of, you need to step, uh, maybe think two steps ahead. And I know that doesn't happen all the time, uh, but, uh, but it's just a consideration for you guys. Uh, so let me know what do you think. Do you like watching the vertical videos on your phone? Is it driving you nuts too? Are you dealing with the idea of I'm um, going to watch a vertical periscope on my television or computer monitor? Let me know at Sorgatron on the tour. And please go to Sorgatron.com where you can sign up for the newsletter. We got a big lunch and learn going on here. And we had a little bit of shift in that. That's October 1st. We're going to be talking about the nuts and bolts, the microphones and the boards mixer boards and the doodads that are scaring you away from doing podcasting we're trying to demystify those for you so you know what you're looking for and you know exactly how much money you should be spending 
on what you're trying to achieve. Uh, you can check that out. It's over on Eventbrite. Links at Sorgatron.com and SorgatronMedia.com. We have added a remote option. Uh, we have added a remote option. We will be using Google Hangout. Once again, seating is limited. We can only put too many, uh, so many people in the Google Hangout. Uh, but you can definitely uh, uh, join us there. It'll be a discounted price. And uh, mostly because you have to bring your own lunch because we can't send you lunch wherever you might be. I don't think the catering works that way. Uh, although, wouldn't it be an interesting partnership with Grubhub or something, right? Maybe, maybe in the future. So please go check that out. Check out the newsletter. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.